Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install the new Microsoft Edge browser, which is called Chromium, which is open source platform. So let's open Edge. <clears throat> and what we're going to do, we're going to search for download Chromium for Windows 10 and just press enter. And we're looking for a Microsoft link. So second link down, as you can see, support.microsoft.com. So I'm going to click on this and get the new Microsoft Edge now. I will say at this time, you can download and install it now when Microsoft release it in a Windows 10 update, which will be in the near future. It will remove the old version of Edge and this will become the default browser. So. Uh, just so you're aware. So we'll click download and you need to read through the terms and conditions. If you don't, you can download it. So we're just going to go scroll all the way to the bottom, click accept and download. And you're going to go save. This should put it in your downloads. Okay. Obviously how fast it downloads depends on the speed of your broadband. So what we're going to do now, we're going to close this. We're going to close edge. We're going to look in my downloads. There it is. And we're going to double click to install it. You'll need administrative rights. So you'll need to be administrator on the computer. So I've just double clicked and I need to say yes to the following pop up. And we'll just close this in the background. <clears throat> so what it's going to do now is going to download the full version of Chromium to your computer. You've just downloaded the installer, which will go online and get the latest version. And again, like I said, depending on the speed of your broadband, uh, is how long it's going to take to download. I'm on uh, Infinity 2, so shouldn't be too long. <clears throat> There we go. Download complete. Installing now. Shouldn't take too long. I use um, Google Chrome. I use Firefox. I use the Tor browser. Um, I use OpenVPN if I want to surf the web anonymously. There's a guide on my channel on how to do that. And I keep all my passwords in KeePass. There's also a vid on that. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's installed. Open it up and this is your first look. Get started. Tells you a little bit about what it's going to do. I don't want to sync it across all devices, so I've selected no. Uh, this will be your uh, Hotmail address or Outlook address. Done. So we're done. So if you want to set your default homepage now, <clears throat> click on the three dots, go to settings. Yeah, you can sign out of your account here. So if we sign out, clear favorites, passwords and everything else, sign out, yes. And then you can sign in with a different account. If not, and you just want to search, so we can just do BBC. There you go, lightningly fast, really good browser, and uh, very easy to install. I actually just realized um, instead of me showing you how to set your home page, I uh, just showed you how to sign out. So uh, I paused the vid and I'm going to show you how to do it now. So here's the new Edge icon on the desktop, double click. And what we're going to do, we're going to click on the three dots in the top right hand side. We're going to go to settings, click. And then we're going to go to 
on startup. If you want to continue where you've left off, fine. I never do because, you know, if you've got kids or there's multiple users on the PC, you don't want them seeing what you're looking at. Um, so open a specific page or pages. So I just go add new and for argument's sake, you can just go google.co.uk add. So if we close it down now and then open it back up, double click. As you can see, it's loaded Google fine. So uh, sorry for a bit of a mix up, but hope you enjoyed the vid and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.